guys, this is Brenda from Planty Pants. Thank you so much for joining me today for another planty video. If this is your first time ever watching one of my videos, I just do all plant videos. And I have to find another way to say that because it sounds really boring. Because it isn't. Um, but in today's video, I am going to be tackling a prop box that has been propagating for months. The roots are overgrown and I hope that it's not going to be really hard, <laughs> but it's something that I really need to do and I'm probably going to be selling most of these plants because I have all of them, um, but we'll see. If they're more rigorous than what I have, we'll probably keep them. But anyway, so thank you for joining me. So first of all, we will go ahead and just take a look at my prop box. And I do have a tag in there, and it says philodendron varicosum. So apparently there's some varicosum pieces in here. It looks like there's a piece of mojito syngonium and another kind of syngonium. Um, my goodness. Not, oh, grazy lay, philodendron grazy lay. So, yeah, I'm just going, they're all in moss, and, you know, they've been thriving in here for way too long. You'll wait and see until I take them out of here. Um, so, yeah. It's my tour, so it's like a tour day. And I've been kind of putting it off because I'm not really sure what I'm in for. But I will let you get a close look at everything that's going on in here. Okay. So let's just, first of all, philodendron varicosum. I know there's a couple of those in here. And if I, I'm going to assume that it is this piece right here, oh my gosh, the roots are so, oh my land. Oh no, you guys, I totally waited too long. Look, look at this. It's all tangled in, boy, it really be cool if you could see this. I'm gonna pull you in closer just so you can see how gnarly these roots are. So here's the stick. Or the piece and there's the roots pretty good so there's one piece but look where it goes it, it well, this looks like it was a whole piece that was laid down but you know I don't typically do that so having said that it's really fine because I can you can certainly just cut it in between all the roots wow this is crazy all right this is really crazy so this is the piece I'm working on. So the roots are really, really long. So I probably want to get most of the moss off. Because this is going to be going into a pot, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Yeah, we're just going to get most of that moss off of there. It likes to stick to the roots. If you just leave a little tiny bit, it's fine. I just try to get the pieces off. Um, like, see, this one clearly has pieces hanging from it. Be sure to get those hunks off. All right, so this, wow, this is amazing. I'm just gently taking off the moss. This is a really big piece. A really big piece. The roots are really nice and hardy, so I'm happy about that. See if I can figure out what what's growing here really with this piece. Let's see. See if we can. So here's the wow, what the heck? Um, all right, this is kind of scary because <laughs> I really don't recall putting in a really long piece. I mean, I feel like that's what I put in there. Just this little cutting. Oh, so look how it's grown. So I can, um, I can get really creative with this. I might just plant it like in a circle. Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this one, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at it. It's a long piece. Boy, and the roots are crazy. Okay, I'm not sure how that happened. Maybe I did do that. Okay, and I feel like 
this is the other piece. Yeah, so this is the other piece. So I had two pieces. Oh my goodness. I had two pieces of um, philodendron varicosum and I put them in here and they grew into plants, but they kept, they kept rooting where the nodes were and oh wow okay so i can probably get a few plants out of this um but i am not really sure what i'm gonna do quite yet it's insane but that's really how i feel <laughs> um you know i suppose i could plant it like up to here and kind of just lay the stem like i said lay the stem and this could be in one pot. That's probably what I'm going to do, you guys. These, these little roots up here are fine. I can get them to climb. That's what I'll do. So there's one piece. And here's two pieces. So we're going to pot those up. Actually, why don't we just do that first? Let's do that first. Back a little bit farther. And we're just going to go ahead and pot these up. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get creative with camera work because... I'm not usually very good at it. So here's my soil mix over here. Nice and handy. And I think I'm gonna put those in these pots since, since there's gonna be so many points where the roots are going to be in the soil. So I also brought some screen. Yep, covers the whole bottom. Okay. All right, so this is how I'm doing it. Maybe if I, no, I think you're good. All right, so I'm gonna put, fill it up about probably halfway. This is my good chunky mix. Perlite soil, orchid bark, worm castings. Um, you know, it's a little bit of, uh, there's Lekka in there, I think, a little bit. Um, okay, so I'm going to plant these two up in these pots right here. You guys, I had no idea that it was going to be like this, so I am kind of flying by the seat of my pants, but I'm going to put one in each pot, which is, these are a little bit bigger pots. So I am just going to literally lay it down like that. Actually, I'm going to pick it up, kind of lay the roots so that they're maybe too much soil there. Lay the roots, lay the roots like this. And I'm just going to very carefully um, fill it up with soil trying to hold it the best I can with my fingers. It's really kind of hard to do, you guys, but it's what I'm doing. So, especially when you have, I have so many roots and I really would like to make sure I bury them. That's the only hard part about letting, letting um, cuttings grow for as long as I did. I really should not have done that, clearly. Um, but it just got away from me, you know? I knew that it was growing really good in there and I could see it and I was checking on it, but um, the reality is when you start a prop box, and I know I've said this before and I'll keep saying it, you gotta figure out what you're gonna do with the babies. I mean, this is really healthy. It's a beautiful, healthy philodendron varicosum. Well, I hope it is. <laughs> That's what it says it is. <laughs> I think it is. It is, it is. So I'm just trying to bury some of these little roots. Um, I sort of feel like you have a better opportunity for, the, for it to sprout new growth if you bury all the roots. So there's one. I've got soil all over the beautiful leaf. I'll give it a nice drink through and through. And this one is just as gnarly. So I'm gonna find the top and here's the top. So I think we're literally just going to kind of do something like this, right? Yep, and then let the, let the roots drop. Pour too much in here. 
the roots drop right in here. That's what I'm doing. And I'm just holding it up with my fingers like this. Filling it in. I'll tell you what. <clears throat> I'm gonna do a video about my favorite planty, planty, um, my favorite planty gadgets, for lack of a better word. My favorite planty gadgets, because lately, I mean, there's so many things that I use, that I buy, and I use, and I reuse, and I um, wear out and get more, and some of them are just totally invaluable. Lately, what I really have fallen in love with is just a magnifying glass. I don't even know where I got this particular one. I checked on Amazon and I didn't get it there, but it's just a little black magnifying glass. I think I showed it to you last time. Man, you can see everything. You can see pests that you literally cannot see with the naked eye and you can't even really see with your reading glasses. I mean, this is a, a good magnifying glass. You can put your eye on it and get right down in there. You wouldn't believe what you can find. So I've really been finding more than I care to admit, and I'm not happy about it, but um, I'm really liking that tool. Da, 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 da. So we have two. That's two. Okay, what else is in here? What else is in here? Oh, well, we have a Syngonia mojito. Let's see what that looks like. I think that's the only one in here. Let's see if it's got... Wow, look at that beautiful root. Um, this looks pretty good, I guess. Doesn't really have a, a lot of growth. I don't really see any new growth unless, yeah, I guess there's something coming right there. There is a leaf coming right down there on, on the bottom. Look how pretty that leaf is. I love this Syngonia. So pretty. I'm just going to pot it up by itself. It's so cute. Um, and they're not really that easy to find. I mean, I don't see them ever in box stores. You know, they don't have a lot of Syngoniums in box stores anyway, and I love Syngonium. So this one grows really fast and really easily. And that Philodendron varicosum does too. So I'm pretty excited to get this stuff done. So here's a cute little Syngonium mojito, and there's not another piece. So she's going to be by herself in this cute little pot. So anyway... Let's just pot her up. So I'm going to be doing a video next week. I know that I've done a lot of different different videos with, um, you know, chopping and propping. And um, I made some fern medium, and I want to give you an update on that because I do have an update on that. And some ficus that I chopped, I have an update on that. And my um, gorgeous, oh my land, what's it called? Some sort of um, calathea. Um, and it was gone, but it had really good roots and I put it in like a, I have leaves coming up. So I'm going to show you that. So that's really exciting. Really exciting. You know, and I have other updates. I've killed a couple of plants. I'll show you. It's, um, <laughs> happens. it just happens. And something else, I'll, I'll just talk about it right now since we're just chatting and, um, I really... You know, I really do like um, aglaenemas. I do. I think they're beautiful, but I think they're kind of um, finicky. Syngonium mojito. Um, you know, they're kind of picky. Well, I cut back my Syngonium Siam. I think it's Siam. Hold on a second. Not Syngonium, Aglionema Siam, because it was just doing so poorly. The, the new leaves were so tiny and scrawny, and I repotted it, and I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. So, um, it hasn't grown at all since I chopped it. There's one little tiny bloop coming out of one of the one of the growth points, and and the pieces that I cut off, which were substantial and healthy, are still substantial and healthy months later, and there are no roots. What does that even mean? Okay, so I have something else to tell you. I feel like I have another um, varicosum. I do. I have another philodendron varicosum in here. 
that's tangled up with, oh no, I guess that's the whole thing. Wait, what is that? Oh, it is, here's another one, you guys. Let's, that's really weird. That's the one that had a piece. Those other two were just from one node, that, those other two that are in those two pots. This one was actually, I thought that I remember that there was one that only had two nodes. So it's this one here. So I will pot that up too. Oh my gosh, how cute. Yeah, this is definitely from, oh, and I have a new growth point down here. You see that? Hold on. See it? That's pretty cool. All right, so we'll go ahead and pot this one up. Wow, we're getting to the bottom of it. Got a couple of syngoniums. Ooh, different ones. So this one I'm gonna do sort of like the others and I'm gonna use one of the white pots and I'm just gonna plant it like this. Mm -hmm. Exciting stuff going on right here. So anyway, I, uh, I spend a lot of time doing plant stuff, a lot of time. So I have Fridays off now and my thought was that I would get all of my, you know, all of my video and stuff done on Friday. What a joke, it's Sunday afternoon. It's Sunday afternoon now, and here I am doing my video, but I, but I, I don't know, I just don't, I don't film everything. Sometimes I don't want to take the time, I'm too lazy, which is really terrible to say, but it's true. I'm sorry. I'm not as young as I used to be. So this is what we're going to do with this one. Put a little bit more dirt in here. Pop them in. And then hold them up with your fingers, like this and go for it. So, I'm just doing chores constantly, like I should show you, I'll show you another thing I'm gonna be doing, and I'm not gonna do a video on it just because it's such a nightmare. Although maybe I should. I have this huge aloe plant. I know that you've seen it in the kitchen. It's the big, big, big one, and it's leaning way over, and I repotted it, and it's still leaning over, and it wasn't doing very good. Like it grew a baby at the base and then the baby just died. I mean, like fell over. So when I tried to, you know, put some soil around it, it just, I picked it up and it was gone. So I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to repot it. So I took it all, I repotted it and there was like no roots, you guys, none in this big giant pot that were just, I don't know. I guess I learned something about aloe vera roots, I guess it's just a regular aloe vera. So anyway, I have to repot that. I'll show it to you. All right, so there's three. What the heck, man? This is exciting. I wonder if this is a, no, it's not. There's three. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get, this is exciting, I just have like two more plants, I think. These syngoniums right here, cute. I'm gonna definitely not, I'm, not, I'm gonna cut off these pieces from this. How long those are? We don't need that because it'll just rot. We don't need it, so just get rid of it. So there's one piece, and then there's another piece right here with a nice root. Oh, yeah, this one's already starting to rot. So I'm just going to cut off this rotten stuff. Hmm. I think I might even want to get closer. There we go. So here's two pieces of um, some sort of syngonium. I'll go ahead and pot them up. How cute are they? Look at them. They'll be fine. So adorable. So, I'm so happy to be getting this done. You know, that I'm not alone. <laughs> I am alone. My husband, no, my husband's outside mowing the inside of my garden. So, I know that you guys know that I have a garden. Well, this year, um, we are not doing a traditional garden. I mean, we have a big garden with raised beds, and we both work really hard. I mean, it's a lot of work, a lot of work, and we're getting older and stuff. And my husband has a disease called myotonic dystrophy. I don't know if I've mentioned it to you, but... Um, it's basically a muscle, a muscle wasting disease, and um, 
he has adult onset, which isn't as bad as like juvenile onset or congenital, which his son has juvenile onset, but it's, it's very, very um, mm. difficult disease. He's in pain. It's, it's a chronic pain disease for him. So anyways, the garden's a lot of work, and I do you know a lot of the work, but Steve does a lot of the work too, so we're going to just do a couple of the beds, but this year what we decided to do is uh, like a cover crop, so I bought some buckwheat seeds. Singonium. I'll figure out what kind it is and drop it in the, in the thing, in the bottom there. Um, so we're going to, we're just going to grow. This almost looks, oh my gosh, I don't know what this is. I'm just going to pot it up. Oh my gosh. Um, so you, um, we're just going to grow the buckwheat, and then, you know, once it matures, not all, not to seed or anything, then we're just going to till it right into the garden and actually not grow any food this year because the last couple of years, our garden hasn't been that great. So we're kind of going to give it a rest, and also to give Steve and myself a rest from just because, oh my gosh, it's just so much weeding, and it's just a lot. It's a lot. Um, you know, and we just need to downsize. That's really it. You know, I always feel like I have to do something or things on this grand scale. It's like, you know, like that's what you have to do, but you don't. You can, you can have a small garden. We can just do one or two of the beds. We have a lot of beds. So anyways, I don't know what this is, you guys, but it's cute and it's rooting, so I'm just going to pot it. I have no idea. I guess I'll just wait till it gets a little bit older for me to be able to tell because I don't know. I have no idea. It's a good thing I brought all these little pots in here. I got a bunch of bunch more little plants where I hope I can sell them, you guys. I don't need all these. I don't need all these. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're not going to have so much of a garden. It's going to be going to be, um, you know, focusing on, we have a lot of perennial beds, we'll focus on those. We need to, you know, replenish some soil there, put some more mulch down, stuff like that. Um, he's kind of a nut about his yard he, when he mows the lawn. I think I told you that like last summer or the summer before, I don't know. I've been doing this channel, y'all, I've had this channel for friggin' almost two years. Almost two years, it's slow going. But I appreciate whoever is watching just watching and liking and subscribing if you don't mind it would really help me because I'm trying I'm trying to this is all important stuff though we all have to do this right the last thing in here is my philodendron, philodendron grazy lay now y'all philodendron grazy lay is one of my favorite philodendron of all times but if, if there are any roots it's going to be a miracle because every time I try to plant it oh wait a minute Wait a minute. Okay, so looking a little bit promising now. Oh, maybe not. The roots are so tiny. They're almost impossible to find. I'm not kidding. All right. I bring them even closer, right here. I don't know who, who out there has philodendron grazy lay, but the leaves are so beautiful. It's a really light green color when it's a mature plant. The leaves have such a unique um, sheen and shape. And it it's really, in my, in my experience, it's not easy to grow though. That's what I'm gonna tell you. Okay, well I have roots and I'm planting it. So this is a success. This is literally, I'm telling you, these have probably been in here for a year. Maybe even more than that. Oh my land. All right. So that's, oh my gosh, I'm really happy with this piece. Okay, so here's this one piece. Put it down right here. So here's the second piece. This is all I have left of this beautiful grazy leaf. Y'all, I paid $50. Ooh, that's, that's rotten. I paid $50 for a small grazy leaf plant. And this is all that I have left. Now, I feel like that is going to rot. So I am going to cut, which I really don't like to because there's roots. There's roots right here. See the roots? But we've got some yucky stuff right here. 
Oop, look. Looks good, it was green in there. All right, so these, this one has little tiny roots too. So I am going to plant it. Well, this is the last thing that's in this box. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Okay, and this is my last pot that I brought over here, which is really funny. That was not planned, and this is my last piece of screen. Wow. Brenda, you're not telling the truth, you planned it. No, I really didn't. I did not know how many plants were gonna be in here and how this was all gonna work out, but this is perfect because my prop box is now empty again. How long will it be empty? That's the question. Not long. So anyways, I'm gonna be doing updates and I'll be posting that next weekend. So, I'm just going to, actually I need to put more soil in here because these roots are kind of shallow. So it has to be closer to the top, like that. And then we're just gonna put that right there. And we're gonna put this one. Just like this. And then I'm gonna very gently very gently fill it in. Very, very, very gently. Gingerly. Fill it in gingerly. You really could use another another hand. Another hand would be really good right now, but I think I I think I successfully did it. I think I did it. Let me put a little bit more right here. Boy, I hope I can grow this, y'all, because I just love this plant. I'll drop a picture of what a, one of the beautiful, full-grown philodendron grazy ray looks like. They are absolutely gorgeous. They're underrated. I never see people talking about them. They're so pretty, and I just had to have it. Literally, I paid $50, and it was not all that big. What did you say, Steve? No, I didn't say 50 I said 15. Just kidding. He's outside, but he doesn't know. I am so blessed to have a man that supports me. Doesn't really ask when I get plants in the mail. He doesn't say, well, what'd you pay for that? And I'm really grateful for that because they bring me so much joy. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have my plants. It's just so much fun, right? All right, so this is what's left. An empty prop box, I will probably wash and reuse this moss, maybe. I think I will. I might even put a little perlite in here. Perlite is really good to um, propagate in as well. Anyways, so that's what I have. So, what are we left with? We're left with two beautiful philodendron varicosum. These are really pretty. I'm hoping that I can sell them locally, like on Facebook Marketplace. And then, I think this might be another Philodendron Varicosum, and honestly, this might be Philodendron Varicosum too, but I'm not sure. I think it might be, because the leaves are really, there's a lot of sheen, and the, the, the smaller leaves look like that. So these all might be Philodendron Varicosum, which is really cool if that's the case. And I have two Syngoniums, I mean, Syngonium Mojito, and then a Syngonium, I'm not sure what it is, but it's not very, it's not very, um, the leaves aren't big, they never got very big, so, and it climbs, so I'm not sure what kind it is, I'll have to figure it out, but, and last but not least, my beautiful Philodendron Grazy Lay, I love her. So, yeah, that pretty much does it for today's video. Wow, it lasted longer than I thought it would, I'm sorry, I probably blabbed more than I should have, but I can't help it. Um, it's getting really warm outside, um, and I'm just excited to spend more time with my plants. I spend a lot of time with my plants. And um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. It will really help me out a lot. Um, and until, like I said, I'm going to be doing a video with um, updates and other cool things. Not just updates, but cool things that are going on right now. Really cool things. Um, yeah, that's it. So until next time, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and God bless.